Hi, hello friends, welcome to Crater I am Milimad. In this tutorial, we are going to learn our next data structure array challenge with PC R in class. Okay. So let's go to our hacker and account and solve the R. So friends, uh, this is the R class challenge. Okay. Uh, so to the uh, to the error data. Okay. Okay. So what we have seen that we have given an array of Six by six two dimensional array. This is a six by six or two dimensional array. If we need to tell there is a R class. Okay. In, in the past time the uh, R was measurement by the R class. So if there is a sand inside that and uh, uh, you will reverse it and the uh, after that R on from the above side there, there, there is a no sand. The all sand is the come out from across the downside, which is the measurement of the R. Okay. So we define an R class A is the subset of the values and indicates the following in the patterns of A in graphical representation. So A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So this is the R class. Okay. There are a 16 R class in the A. So this is they are defined in the A. In the sub of that sub of the R class values. Okay. So what we need to do task is that to calculate the R class of sum of every R class in A and then print a maximum R class. If you have already solved it, Java domain Java 2D array challenge, you may wish to see this challenge. Okay. There are a 6 inputs where the 6 space uh, separated integer which is the two second, second dimension, uh, two dimensional of array of A and every value has an inclusive of the minus 9 to 9. Okay. So this is the sample input and the output is 19. So how output is 19? Uh, so this is the input and one 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 triple one. Okay. So one 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 and the triple one. After that they have started from here. One one zero zero one one zero. Okay. So from all of that, this is the value where it is the uh, total is higher. So it is the two four four two one two four. So what we need to do is this. We need to create. We, we, have, we have the six by six as array. We need to all R class paper. So how do we do it? So let's start the writing the code and understand it. Okay. So now, uh, uh, what we need to do first? So before writing a code, we need to understand that uh, we should not when we are writing a code, uh, we should not take. So we should not take this two. From here, we cannot count the R class. As as well as from here we cannot R class because we would not able to find the third value from here. So all of this will be, would be should be from here only. Okay. So let's write it. Okay. Now uh, integer count is equal to zero. Initially let me take a count is equal to zero. Okay. So now for integer i is equal to zero i less than of array dot left and the i plus plus okay so uh, uh how we will count is a of 0 1 0 2 0 0 0 1 0 2 0 3 0 4 and 0 5 okay array starts from the 0 now inside that inside that we need to take the same thing for the j as a integer j is equal to 0 j less than j error dot length and the j plus plus ok uh, what we should not to take let's let's take this thing in the if if i is greater than or is equal to array dot length as i was explaining you that we should not take the array from the fourth position. So from the this position we could not count because we would not able to find the third value in the R class. Okay. So i is greater than or is equal to array dot length minus 2. Otherwise from the column value as well from the j is greater than or equal to array dot length minus 2. If this would be there we would not able to count. And we need to count another thing. Here we will do another. 
just for the understanding purpose, I am writing this is so tomorrow you can understand it as super. Here we need to do a super. Okay, so integer ten is equal to zero. Now we need to uh, then the R has the three parts: the first row, second row, and the third row. So first ten value. How we will count it? So array of i j, whatever it is there. Array of i j should be there because R class a uh, initial starting point. The third value or second value. Array array uh, array of i because there is there is a zero value in the R class. So what what is there? We are counting that for understanding this. Suppose that we are counting this. Okay. So i would be same and the j would be j plus. Plus, plus. What we will do? Array of i j plus two. Okay. So it will not have created problem. Okay. Integer second term is equal to. What we need to do? We need to do a both the value plus one. And integer third term is equal to okay. So now array of i plus two, i plus two. We need to do it. And the there is a j is equal j is a zero. Okay. So i is equal to i plus array of i plus two and the zero. So now here right now what we are counting? Counting the third value. So if we are considering zero. Is it a zero zero? So here it is a i plus two, and it is j is equal to j. Okay, plus plus what we need to do? Array of i plus two there is a fine. Then j plus one we need to do it. Okay, plus now i plus two is a fine. We also we need to do a j plus two as well. Okay, this is a simple, very simple. Okay, now we need to do this in a total of j. In the first term, first term, plus second term, second term, plus third term. Okay, now if if term is greater than count. Then what we need to do, we need to store into the count is equal to ten. Okay. Now, now what we need to do, we need to print at just the count. Okay. Outside the or the for loop, we need to print at count. Just the dot out dot print ln. What we need to do is print into a count. Okay. Now, one more thing. Here in the input, constant was said said that that to be a minus ninety nine. If there is something an error which is in the minus, then integer zero will be wrong. So we will not able to get it. So we should not initialize with integer of the Zero. So what we need to do is we need to do this if they initialize that with the integer dot mean underscore value underscore value. What do mean underscore value is that if there is a something value is coming into the minus, so it will define it. It will count from the minus. If there is something value is a null, so it will handle it. So when comes value in the plus, minus, in the negative value, positive value, you don't know. Then we need to define it with this value. Okay. So let's run the code. Okay. So we have part initial to case cases. Okay. So let's submit the code. It's taking this time. 
So congratulations guys, uh, it was just taking the time, uh, might be of some internet issues. Uh, so no problem, uh, we have completed this challenge, okay. Thank you guys, thank you for watching my video. Uh, do like, comment and subscribe to your solution as well. Please do visit the writerapi.com and do subscribe to writerapi. Thank you guys, thank you very much.